Hi everyone, my name is Diola Devi and I am the fashion and beauty blogger of Amokimura.com. Thank you for watching today's video. Today's video is all about this look right here. I did this look a couple of days ago, posted some pictures to Instagram, Twitter, and you guys really, really liked it. So, I decided to do a tutorial for you guys. I've never really done a black smoky eye, like a pure black smoky eye. I always have like some shine or some glitter, but creating this smoky eye was so much fun and I'm going to show you. How to create this smoky eye if you are interested in finding out how i got this look here like this one <laughs> if you're really interested in finding out how you can achieve this look at home then stay tuned and watch the rest of the video so let's get started i've already filled in my brows and i'm right now going to prime my eyes and I do this by applying a little bit of concealer, blending it out, and applying a powder, this white powder right here from the Morphe 35O palette, to set it. I'm gonna go in with my eyes and I'm going to use that light mustard color to start defining my crease, and I'm using a dome contour brush for that. Then I'm going to use this reddish brown to further define the crease because you know when you're doing a smoky eye you want your crease to be defined then I'm going to take this dark grayish brownish black color and I'm going to concentrate this on the outer V of my eye and I'm going to blend it out so this could actually be a great smoky look but I wanted to take it a step further so I took this gel pot liner from Bell, um, Blot Beauty sorry and with my flat eyeshadow blush brush I started applying the product to my lid. Then I took this shadow noir from the Shadow Couture palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I used another flat brush to apply that and to set the product. Now I'm taking this crease brush and I'm slowly blending it out. I wanted it to be a blown out black smoky eye. So as you can see, I'm blending the product bit by bit and I'm also using a little bit of black. I'm dipping the brush in some black to also add a little bit more black to the eye and I'm taking my contour brush, my eye contour brush, to blend it all out. So right now I'm just switching between both the brushes, the crease brush and the contour brush to apply color, blend color. And taking that same gel liner and a little detail brush that came with it, I'm drawing on my winged liner. I just wanted it to be a little wing, not too big or too exaggerated because the eyes are already black. Right here, I'm just applying mascara to my eyes and this is the Zaron Volumizing Mascara. Now it's on to my face. For my base, I'm using the Nivea Men's After Shame After Shave Balm and it's really good as a primer and I'm going to review this primer soon. I'm color correcting with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade orange, which helps to color correct under my eyes and around my mouth, and I'm blending it out with a BT blender. Now I'm going in with my foundation, and this is the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Foundation, and then I'm applying it with the Morphe M442 brush, which is a buffing brush. I just bought this recently and it is perfect. Like I love, love the finish that this brush gives me. Like I need to have more and more few brushes in my life. Like this one made me a believer. Then I'm going to highlight using the Pro LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toffee. We'll be highlighting under my eyes my chin, my forehead, and the bridge of my nose. Then I'm going to blend it out with a damp beauty blender. It's time to bake and I will be baking with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and using a small wedge I'm going to apply that powder under my eyes, my chin, you know, just the places that I applied my highlight. Then once I've baked for about 5-10 minutes I'm going to use a large powder brush to wipe all the excess powder away and use my beauty blender to blend it together so that there are no harsh lines between the products. 
then I'm going to contour using the double tar loss and contour palette and I'm going to be using a double tar loss and angled brush to contour my cheekbones and my forehead and my jawline then to make sure that contour is popping I'm going to apply some concealer um, some, some powder under there and then I'm going to highlight using the Tails Cosmetics Highlighting Palette, that silver shade right there. I felt it went with the look more, so I highlighted my cheekbones, my lips, and a little bit under my brow. Once that is done, I'm using a powder brush to wipe off the excess powder, and I'm using a beauty blender to, you know, blend everything together because we do not want any weird harsh lines. Then to finish up my eyes, I'm going in with the Naked One palette and taking the shade Sin and applying that as an inner eye highlight. Then I'm going in with the gel liner to draw in a little cat eye. Now it's time for my lips and I'm applying the Blot Beauty um, liquid lipstick in the shade Pieces. And I really thought this color would be, I don't know, pinkish, but when I applied it and it dried, it is just gorgeous. I don't even know how to describe this color, honest to God. Like, I really do not know how to describe it, but I love it. And that is the finished look. For today's video, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you found something great about this video i don't know just let me know in the comments below if you want me to you know do more looks do more vlogs you know i am kind of trying to figure figure out my um what content i should create and i need a lot of help from you guys so if you guys want to see more tutorials makeup tutorials let me know if you want to see more how to's like beginner basics let me know if you want to see more vlogs i know you guys really like the vlog but i want to know do you guys want to see more of that and less tutorials just let me know in the comment section below you can follow me on social media i am on i'm everywhere basically um snapchat instagram and twitter is d3ola and you can like the official omegimura facebook page which is facebook.com forward slash omegimura thank you so much once again for watching this video and i'll see you guys next week bye